Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. Now, here's a possible caveat to this whole thing. You know, of course, this whole thing could totally flop in. And well, hello there, everybody. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using the slow cooker. And what I got was this. I got it prepared. Oh, if I can open this, there we go. It was in one of these things. And what it is, it's pretty much ready to go. I just have to pour it in, okay? It's ready to go. I just have to pour it in. And what I did get was some liners, some slow cooker liners. And it's right over here. These ones here. Now, so you know, I didn't know who these guys are. It, one of my subscribers had suggested it. And I, I think it's a great idea. It looks something like this. And for now, since this is really just a test for me, I'm going to, there's not going to be any super amazing angles. I'm just going to, I'm just going to film it as is, how it is right now. And the other thing that I'm going, that's going through my mind right now is uh, if I'm going to run out of space because my phone has been acting really wonky. I, I've been running out of space, probably because I'm using a lot of space. Makes sense, right? So here's what the liner looks like. Okay. Almost looks like cellophane. And I've never used this before. And I think it's kind of big for my crock pot, but we'll see. Here's the crock pot we'll be using. It's this one here. It's a it's a one quart. It's a Road Pro. So I'm going to just get this out of here like this. that there and place it right there so you see it right looks good and we're gonna pour the ingredients in there and you know what guys uh, well this kind of works in that this camera angle isn't that bad so I'm I ended up just losing the camera angle so you can see it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this part right here the thing that keeps the top okay place that there and then I'm just going to, I'm assuming, just line it, right? So open it up and line it like that, right? So that way, no must, no fuss, right? You know what? I the, the if this is, it looks like plastic, but it isn't plastic. So this will probably work. So we have it like that, right? And then let's get our ingredients. This one here, okay. Put that there. So this is what it is. It's pretty much ready to go, okay? Pre-prepared before the show. The James Cooking Show. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna open it up. And I should have taken off my jacket for this, but hey, I'm not going to do that. It's okay. I'm going to throw it in. There we go. Plop it in there. Oh, wow. Look at Wow. Look at Wow. Look at that. There we go. Oh, that's messy. Messy, 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 messy. There we go. I don't have the recipe for this right now. I'm going to place it. Oh, let's throw everything else in there. Get in there. There we go. The thing is, when you're, when you're in the van, you have to be really, really particular about how you sort of work with this stuff because you don't want to sp spill anything right I'm just gonna get a fork and I'm going to just mix it up a bit there you go I think this is gonna work it only feels like it's gonna work so I'm gonna place it right there place it right there myself a napkin I'm gonna see if I can get a close-up and there it is that's a nice close-up right there and you can see the plastic right here and it's gonna go like this okay and we're gonna cover it up I don't know how long it's gonna to take to cook but it's a slow cooker so I'm gonna say let's say four hours because it is a 12 volts so maybe others it might take less than that but for now I'm going to just say four hours 
Now you can probably hear the diesel heater in the background. Hopefully my voice is carrying through. Okay, so let's put the top on. Wow, it actually puts, goes on pretty good. And I'm going to do this. Go on to the other side. And it's pretty much ready to go. Ready to go. And here, I'm going to plug it in. Now, what's great about this particular unit is it gives us an on and off switch. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it in. So you can see how messy you can get in the van. That's why when you do this stuff, you really have to constantly clean up after yourself. I don't have a lot of room. <laughs> see there, I spilled coffee there. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna plug this in. There we go. And then here, turn it on and see where we go. Okay, and there's our setup there. So we have our slow cooker, we have our on off switch, and then to the right there of the screen is our 12 volt plug. Uh, the time right now is about two o'clock in the afternoon. So at four hours, it should be done by six o'clock, I'm hoping but I'll check on it every so often. So really what's great about the slow cooker, it's sort of like a set it and forget it scenario where you throw everything in that you need to cook and then you sort of veg out or hang out for the next few hours. And for me, if I was at a trailhead, I'd probably go for a hike, maybe I'd go running or essentially just chill right out I might catch up on some of my messaging maybe do a bit of work I do some remote work every so often which is always handy for this kind of lifestyle but at the same time um, it's just just got to wait for it but you know one thing I will do for sure because it's getting hot in here because I have a diesel heater on is essentially take this thing off it's like it's really hot in here Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. No, I'm not. No, I'm okay. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. It gets hot in here with that diesel heater. I'm telling you, it gets really hot in here. Fantastic. Oh look, I've got coke from the other day. By the way, it's Diet Coke and it's sugar-free coke and now I know some of you guys think it's so bad but I like to live dangerously so really just a few minutes in right now I couldn't wait I, I just felt it and it's it's already hot so I'm going to set the timer oh the timer is on that phone so I have to turn off this video okay then so I set the timer and I set it for three hours, three hours and nine minutes on or about. And I'm gonna check to see if it's okay, if it's cooked and that kind of thing. And then that way I'll figure out based on this type of ingredients, this is probably how long it's gonna take to cook. I don't have any guidance right now on any type of slow cooker cooking where it's gonna be set up this particular way. This one here, my approach is it's got to be really easy that if there's going to be prep work that has to be done it's going to be done sort of like at one time and then I bag everything ziplock everything and then just sort of empty it into the into the crock pot after or the slow cooker so that it's much easier so my plan is let's say like I work full time right so let's say I start work early in the morning I have it on so that long enough maybe three hours before I finish work or four hours depending on what I'm cooking so that after work it's ready to go so instead of being in traffic driving wherever it is I'm driving to which rarely I could be anywhere <laughs> but well let's say I'm, I'm I decided to go somewhere right and it's going to be really nice to be able to just go into my van I have dinner ready waiting for me and I just sort of eat and relax and then just 
go on with my evening. So, and again, there is some prep time involved, but if I do it all at one time and have it set up so that it's ready to go, I think I'll have an easier week of things. And obviously the worst case scenario is you go out and buy fast food, which I'm trying to avoid as much as possible because, you know, it does, it does cost more money. Like I reduced my expenditures, my coffee expenditures by a lot by not going through drive through And that saves money. If you're spending, let's say $2 a day, that's five days, that's $10. That's approximately anywhere from 30 to $40 a month. And that's just on coffee once a day. You know, that's at least $400 a year. Hey, that could go to something something else and besides I you know I, I make better coffee than most places I've gone to so that's another caveat right it's difficult for me to actually pay for coffee when I know I could I could do a better job but once in a while is good right every so often I have over here in Canada we have a Tim Hortons and every so often I have a Thames or a Starbucks which is you know a nice treat for me so something to keep in mind and I'm still waiting. Well guys, so far so good. And it seems to be working just amazingly well from what I can see here. And also it smells pretty good. Now here's a possible caveat to this whole thing. And since I'm plugged in, I really can't drive because this thing is sort of, you know, stuck there and imagine if I where to stop suddenly this is going to go flying all over the place so I'm already thinking of a way to contain it so that if I am driving it would stay where it is and I'm sort of looking at something like one of these guys that's where I'm keeping my mug and things that could possibly fly around maybe I'll create this sort of I don't know little corral for it if that's if that's a term But I'm quite happy with how it's turning out so far. I don't know how long it'll take to actually cook, but so far it looks like it's working. You know, of course this whole thing could totally flop and it doesn't work and it tastes awful or it's not cooked or it takes way too long to cook, but hey, that's why it's called a slow cooker. Okay guys, it's about three hours now and uh, what I'm gonna do Okay, so I'm going to get that fork and we're going to open it up. Uh, let's see now. Okay, let's see what we got here. So I'm just going to, it's still warm. And I'm going to take this off at the top here. Okay, I'm going to bring this over there. Pull that down. Open this up and see how that meat's doing. Um, I'm gonna try it out. You can actually see it. it smells good. Yeah. I'm gonna adjust the camera. And here's the camera. It's slightly tilted just because my floor is uneven. So let's open it up here. And there it is. And let's just sort of taste it. Gonna use this as my plate here. I don't want anything dripping anywhere. Mmm! Oh my goodness! It's delicious. Okay, so I'm chomping down on this thing. It's really good. And you know, it'd be great with this some rice. So I'm going to just leave it be. It's it's done. I'm gonna turn it off. Turn off the little switch here. The switch here. Turn it off. There we go. And we're done. So you saw the results and it took about three hours for it to cook. And I learned a lot from this little experiment. Uh, first of all, I looked it up and this particular slow cooker takes about eight amps an hour. So eight amps. So that costs me about eight times here, about 24 amps. And I think it's worth it. Now, the issue now is, you know, how much is, is it gonna cost me in terms of power for my, my rice that I'm gonna be cooking next. And I'll cook that with the other, with the Road Pro oven. So that should, 
that should only take about an hour, I think. So another eight amps, so or nine amps. So the whole thing is approximately 40 amps and you get yourself a really good meal. That doesn't include the prep time. But in terms of a first experiment, I think this was a huge success. And it certainly, while it is similar to the Road Pro, the difference with this one is that it's the way it's made, sort of like the shape of it. So it's more conducive, I think, to this type of cooking. And for an easy, quick experiment, I think this worked out really well. Thank you.